Hey guys, Jackie here. Today's video is a lovely look, first impression of the C Color Cosmetics Around the World palette. It looks like these. Ooh, pretty. So that is what we use to create this look, which I am digging. So if you like beauty related content, a very crazy gal and just beauty stuff in general, <laughs> Wow. Hit the subscribe button. And next to that is a little bell. Ring the bell. I just rang it. <laughs> Ring the bell. And you will become part of the hashtag notification nation. And YouTube will alert you as soon as my videos go up. So, how y'all doing? I am in a great mood today, which is awesome because I mean when is it not awesome to be in a great mood so yeah I hope that you really enjoy this video and uh, yeah let's get started hello we are playing today with the C color cosmetics around the world palette so this is actually a dupe for urban decay's uh, born to run palette and let me take the take the sticker off so you can see without the glare. Okay, this might take a second. They really like to stick it on there. Oh. Okie dokie. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Such pretty colors. So yeah, I kind of want to do like a little more of like a glam type of look. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> Not so glam. Sweatshirt managed to curl the ends of my hair and you know, give it a little something and threw on the sweatshirt. <laughs> and what are you gonna do? Okay, so to start off with, of course, we're gonna prime our eyes because we like our shadows to stay, right? And we're using the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer, as usual. Nothing, nothing different going on here. Well, besides the palette. By the way, I washed all my sponges this morning, so yay me. <laughs> Good job. All right, so to start off, we are going to go in with, you know, I really don't know what I want to go in with. I'm going to start off with this, oh, let's see, can I, can I do this, this peach shade right uh, here, and that's going to be my transition shade. <laughs> I thought about going in with the one right next to it, nude-ish color, but, um, yeah, no, I kind of want to change it up, so we're going to go in with that little peachish, peachy shade, and that is going to be our transition. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so think, Jackie, think. Um, yeah, I was gonna say something, totally forgot what it was. Oh, oh, okay, so, um, I just wanna say, so far, I'm really liking the C Color Cosmetics, uh, palettes. They are so good. They do have a little bit of kickback, of course, because, I mean, come on, guys. This palette is $10.50. What do you think is going to happen with a $10.50 palette? It's going to, it's not going to be, well, that's not true though, because I have had more expensive palettes have just as much kickback. So I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't bug me. It is what it is. I mean, what are the chances you're going to go through? Well, I guess if you're a normal person and you're not like getting makeup to do videos um, then yeah you might actually go through most of a eyeshadow palette so okay well scratch everything I just said because yeah 
Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense now, does it? Okay, so there's that. Very pretty. These um, shadows are very pigmented and they blend amazing. So far, I have not ran into to like any basically any patchiness of any kind so just saying it may be affordable but affordable does not mean bad quality okay so I just wanted to say that now what am I gonna do <laughs> well, I'm going to go in I'm going to go in the uh, crease and yeah, I'm going to go on the crease. Yeah, in the crease. With this uh, dark purple matte shade right there. And that's going to be our crease shade. Like I said, I'm going to go in the crease with it. So, <laughs> okie dokie. I still really want to try uh, Profusant. Play <laughs> it. Words are hard. Profusion makeup brushes because they look. I mean, I I have two that came in palettes. Oh, let me. Well, one is the one I use for the transition shade, and the other one is this one. It's it's bigger, and I kind of need smaller. I mean, there's a flat side which is good for packing on shadow, but uh, I have such small eyes that I need smaller brushes so perfusion came out with brushes and I'm kind of thinking I want to uh, try them because they have smaller ones like I don't want to buy the whole set I don't need them all um, wow if my brain could work so I could finish a sentence that would be great um, but yeah, I want to try, you know, some of the smaller ones because my eyes are small and I really like the ones I have. So I kind of want to try out their smaller brushes and see because, I mean, it, it makes a difference. It really does. It makes a difference when you use brushes that, you know, are closer to what you need for your eye size and shape, you know what I'm saying? So, smaller brushes for smaller eyes, you know, really, it makes a difference, it helps, it helps. Because, you know, you take the fluffier brush and you just, you know, buff the, uh, you know, transition shade, and then you don't wanna brush the same size as this for your crease shade, because then you're just basically going over and covering your, cre like, your transition shade with your crease color and it kind of makes the transition shade pointless you know what i mean so you want to go in with a smaller brush you know and this isn't much smaller it's a little smaller but not a whole lot now that i'm looking at it maybe i did want to use the other brush but you know what i mean it makes a difference in you know your makeup look you know what I'm saying. I think you do. I think you do. All right, anyways. So, yeah, I want to try those out sometime. Maybe in the future. Future. All right, I am actually going to go back over this with uh, my transition to blend the edges. Oh, okay. Um, I'm so weird. Um, all right. This is where we're going to switch things up a little. Okay, I'm going to go on the lid first before doing outer corner work. I want to do the lid work first. So I'm going on the lid with this shade right oh hello Ooh. okay this shade right here this pretty light champagne shimmer shade and I'm gonna put that on most of the lid from the inside to about halfway and I'm gonna use my finger and see just how see oh gorgeous it's gorgeous fingers work the best with shimmers 
and uh, you can even wet the shimmer when it's on your finger. You don't have to use a brush to wet a shimmer. You can do it when it's on your finger if you feel like you want to wet it. Um, this is looking pretty darn good and dry, so I don't think I'm gonna bother wetting it. And by the way, that was really like creamy. Like it was soft and creamy. It wasn't powdery and chalky. So just an FYI. Okay, let's do the other eye. I love this. I'm just curious um, if you do watch a lot of my videos. Uh, have you learned from me? Have you learned anything from me? Um, have I taught you any new techniques or looks maybe? I'm just curious if what I'm doing is making a difference in anybody's life. <laughs> um, I it well it's making a difference in mine, but is it making a difference in my audience's life? So I'm just curious if I have, please let me know in the comments and let me know what it is you've learned. Just, I don't know, just want to know. Just curious, curious to know if I'm doing anything in anybody's life. <laughs> yeah, we all want to, you know, feel like we have a purpose. Um, okay, so now in mm, this like, outer part of the eye I actually want to go in with this pretty like tealish green uh, color I kind of I just want to add a little pop of something you know what I mean so I thought just in the center to the outer corner would just be enough so it would like I don't know we're gonna see if it works out the way I'm envisioning it in my head Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. All right, I'm going to take that on my pointer finger. Um, and yeah, we're just going to add it. Just want that little pop of something so when, you know, you're talking to somebody and you look down, they're kind of like, oh, look at that pretty pop of color. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean. But I noticed these type of um, details when I'm watching other YouTubers and stuff, so. I just want to uh, do it on myself, you know what I mean? So yeah, and I'm gonna overlap that champagne shade a little, you know, just like I might go back over that with the champagne shade a little uh, again. Just you, mm -hmm. you know, you know, we gotta we gotta blend them together. See, isn't that pretty? <laughs> pretty I'm drinking Pepsi today I had my coffee already it's it's noon um had, had stuff to do this morning so after the last thing we had to do I figured uh why not make a video so Pepsi it is <laughs> cheers okay so add a little more on the teal. I need to wash my mirror. My mirror is dirty. And I didn't bring it all the way because obviously I'm going to put a deeper shade in the outer corner. So, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to bring that all the way to the outer corner. So. What was that? Did you hear that? Okie dokie. I have no idea what that was. It's probably something. Something going on around y'all. Okay. I don't know. How do you guys feel about this? I kind of dig it. Not gonna lie. It's kind of pretty. All right. I'm so weird. Okay. Moving on. I'm in a good mood today. So. Yay. <laughs> Yay me. All right, I'm going to take the, uh, you know, famous. It's famous on my channel. I don't know if it's famous to anybody else, but it's it's famous to me. Uh, the, uh, you go, I, I do, mm -hmm. Crease, elf crease brush, the little one. You know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you do. Uh, I like to use this in the outer corner. Okay, so I'm going to use, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna use this cool tone 
dark brown right there as the outer corner shade. And we're gonna see just how uh, that looks. It is pretty deep. So I'm only like doing a little at a time. I don't wanna get, you know, carried away. Like, just bam! All of a sudden, looks like somebody chucked mud on my face. We don't want that. Do not want that. So far, I'm really liking this palette. As I've said, so far the C Color Cosmetics are uh, pretty and working beautifully. Look at this, no patchiness. There's no patchiness there whatsoever. And dark browns, they tend to get patchy. So, just saying. There is no patchiness, so I'm impressed. Impressed. I don't impress me much. I just aged myself there. Sorry. <laughs> like you care. Uh, apologize to myself. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. This whole entire time I have been tapping my brush off, I've been tapping my brush off onto this sponge. Brilliant, Jackie. Brilliant. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand why people pay so much for palette. I don't get it. Not even a little bit. I understand it this much. I don't. <laughs> What's wrong with this? You would never know that this was $10.50. Why am I gonna pay whatever the Urban Decay palette price is? Why? why just saying this is a tough one okay so here's my little ted talk i don't know why they call it ted talks but i don't know if it's named after somebody but anyways so um brands get mad i'm gonna go back in with the crease brush while i tell you my little my little thing brands get mad when other brands like dupe or copy i mean if you're flat out straight up copying that's kind of like i don't know but like if you dupe their like palettes and stuff. But what they really should be doing instead of getting mad that people are duping them for a cheaper price, what they should be doing is lowering their price. Hello? Lower your price. Why are you charging so much? When you don't have to. I just don't. I don't get it. I guess uh, I can see it if it if it's like a cruel. Well, I don't know. I'm pretty. This is cruelty free. Yes, this is cruelty free. So I guess if it's vegan, I can see a difference. If it's a vegan formula, is that even possible to do with eyeshadow? I don't know. I guess because I guess Jaclyn Hill was vegan and then it's not, but. So maybe that costs more if it's vegan, but like if it's not and you're using same type of uh, uh, materials to make your eyeshadow, why are you charging so much for it when you don't, obviously, clearly you don't need to. I'm just saying, I don't know. Chime in if you have any ideas because I'm curious. I'm curious. I mean, some, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. All I'm looking for in an eyeshadow a palette is for it to be colorful and for it to blend and for it to stay on and not muddy. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking for. So far, C Color Cosmetics, all of these have done it for me at a much lower price. I don't need it to be... I don't know, a specific, like, formula, like a Pat McGrath type transition brush, uh, like a Pat McGrath type formula. I don't need that. I, I, it's, I just don't need it. It's gonna stay the same, it's gonna color, like, it's gonna, it's basically the same, but it feels different. I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I feel like 
makeup companies charge way, too, way too much. For things that they don't need to charge that much for. Okay, okay. That's the end of my TED Talk that took way longer than it should have. It was a simple, I don't understand when they basically do the same thing. Okay. So there is a that. How are we feeling? I want to try a little more of that teal. Okay, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this e.l.f. liquid jet black liner. Then I'm going to use some CoverGirl Exhibitionist. And then I'm going to pop on lashes, do the rest of my face, which I will list in the description box what I'm using on the rest of my face. I know there was a few videos where I didn't because I was just trying to get out videos and didn't take the time to do that. Sorry. It was busy times and stuff, so um, yeah. And then when I come back, we will finish the look off and yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I will be right back looking much more put together than this hot mess right here. So be right back. Ta-da! The rest of my face is on, as you can definitely tell. Because your girl not looking so hot without her face smack on, okay? I have no idea what that was, guys. That was so weird. Okay, uh, let's finish this look with the bottom lash line. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna take, ooh, what am I gonna, mm. I'm gonna take that purple tra trans, no. That purple, um, crease shade hi hello hi how are you and i am going to drag that along closest to the lash line Ooh, all right then we're gonna take that a dark brown outer corner shade and we're going to connect it Okay, and then we're gonna take the uh, transition shade, pretty, pretty transition shade, and we're going to run that along the bottom of those other two to make it, you know, blend out and be a little soft soft her yeah. like so and you know what I'm going for it we're going for a black eyeliner in the bottom I know I'm gonna regret this because it's gonna be a pain in the tush to get off because this Believe Beauty long-lasting lasting eyeliner is the shiz is the shiz and uh yeah it stays man when you say long lasting then i'm not kidding why am i talking like that okay so we're gonna take this this is in caviar which is the black shade and i'm going to run that um about half way i don't want to go all the way in because then that just makes me look like, and we don't want to do that we just want to um, anyways so i'm gonna do that real quick uh, it's been a long time since i put eyeliner in the waterline Ooh, yes ah Ooh, okay, I'm gonna take my finger and kind of blend that to a softer, you know, I don't want it to be like black. Er, make sense? I hope. I hope. I hope. All right, do the other side. How are we feeling? Ooh, mm, it's been a while. Mm, I'm glad I did that. Okay, now we're gonna put on some CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I'm sorry. Mascara. 
Ooh, pretty. I feel. I don't know what the hell that is. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, so this, y'all. Hi, noon, y'all. This is the final look. I hope that you like it. And I'm gonna say, like I said during the video, C Color Cosmetics ain't doing so bad, are they? No. This palette is beautiful. I really like the look that I created. And I just, I didn't struggle with anything that I used. I mean, obviously I haven't used it all, but what I did use was great. I didn't struggle with any of it, so. I am digging this, so. Yay. Um, yeah, so like I said, everything that's on my face will be in the description box. I'm not going to be lazy today. No, no. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the look. If you do, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps my channel out tremendously. I just scratched myself. Tremendously. And yeah. I guess that's it for this video. I hope you are staying healthy, staying safe, staying home, and I also hope that you have a wonderful day. <laughs>